So they tell me that the rate of change of mass is directly proportional to the mass. So translating this, the rate of change of mass is the derivative of the mass with respect to time, dmdt, and that's directly proportional to the actual mass of the object. So it equals k times n. Now this is a differential equation, um, and it turns out we actually know the solution of this differential equation from algebra. You, you're looking at this and you're like, I kind of knew how to do this in algebra too, but now we know how to actually find the um, answer using differential equations. So let me show you what I mean. Um, let's see. A uh, separable differential equation, so I want to get everything, separate the m's and the t's. So I need to multiply by dt and then divide by the m. So divide by the m, scoot it over here, multiply by the dt, put it over there. So now I've separated m's and t's. And now I can take the integral of both sides. So the integral of 1 over m is the ln of m, absolute value of m, and the integral of k is uh, just kt, and add an arbitrary constant. You could add them to both sides, but then you can swing them over to make some sort of super constant. And so then if we um, solve for m, just e both sides, take an anti-log of both sides, and so those will cancel out. So absolute value of m will equal e to the kt plus c. Well, you can make this look a little bit more familiar. e to the kt plus c, if you're adding exponents, you could go backwards and say that would be the same thing as e to the kt times e to the c. And because if you are multiplying things with powers, you would have been adding their exponents. And this e to the c, if I just rename this as a super constant um, c, we have m equals c e to the kt. And I can dump the absolute value because that c could be either positive or negative, and that will kind of absorb that. So you're looking at this and you're like, this kind of looks familiar. This is pert, right? So basically, we've solved for the familiar equation pert, um, where p is the initial amount and um, uh, yeah, r is the uh, growth rate and the loveliness, I can tell. So wonderful. We have an equation for mass, and you could have gone straight here if you had wanted to, but I just want to, wanted to show you the calc because it is a calc test, right? So still interesting there. OK, so now we have um, uh, basically a couple of equations, a couple of no unknowns. We know when t is 0, the mass is supposed to be 500. So let me um, rewrite this up here. So I know my mass is c e to the kt. And when time is 0, the mass is 500. So 500 should equal c e to the k times 0. So it looks like c is 500. And that's making sense with our Hurt equation, because that 500 was always, that p was always the initial amount. Yeah. So now we've got this. And one more piece of information to help us solve for k. I know when t is 20, m is 100. So m is 100 when t is 20. Now we just solve this. So get the e alone by dividing both sides by 500. So 1 fifth equals e to the 20k. Take a natural log of both sides to knock this guy out. So the ln of 1 fifth should equal 20k. So k should equal the ln of 1 fifth divided by 20. And then we take a look at our answers. Oh, it's there. There's other ways to write this, but it looks like it's just sitting there as a uh, 1 20th the ln of 1 fifth. I'm liking it.